Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your bonus reading. And in this bonus reading, um, it is timeless, which means that whenever you happen to chance upon my video, the answers you're looking for are in this reading. And if you are a follower or subscriber to my channel, uh, just know that you are getting this bonus reading because you are one of the uh, Scorpio for the last reading. You were one of the most viewed. So I, I do um, bonus readings, okay, because of that. So, oh, well, they flew out. <laughs> we have King, Queen of Cups. Very nice, very complete. So those of you who are looking for a relationship, you are you will meet someone. I feel like this is like a divine counterpart for you, Scorpio. You will meet someone, right? Whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter because you're the king and queen of cups. And my intuition tells me that those of you looking for a relationship, you might meet someone very, very soon. Those of you who are already in a relationship, uh, things are going to deepen for you in your connection with each other. Okay. And then let's see what else. Um, what else is there for you, Scorpio? We need one more. One more. Okay. Okay. We have here nine of cups. Okay. Right. So, um, Ace of Swords usually is about clarity. So you're getting clarity about a situation in your life, and I feel this has to do with your. Uh, emotional relationship with self, right? Either relationship with self, you gain clarity, you're understanding yourself a little bit better, or you're understanding your partner much, much better. Um, you and you have some new ideas about, you know, um, how to engage with your partner or how to take your relationship to the next level. Okay, and then we have five of pentacles, right? The five of pentacles energy, um. Usually, it stands for despair, feeling, you know, uh, you see the rain, the rabbit looks a little bit miserable, right? A sense of despair. And then we do have a nine of cups here. Nine of cups here is about comfort, contentment. So let's get some clarifiers, right? Let's see what's up here for you. Um, but, you know, starting with king and queen here is a very positive note already. But perhaps you're dealing with some other stuff going on. And then uh, know that you do have the support of your divine counterpart. Now, this divine counterpart could be your own higher self. It could be a real life partner. Or if you're looking, if you're single, you're looking for a new relationship. There's a potential divine partner coming in. If you're not interested in a relationship, then you connect with your higher self or your soul self, right? Okay. So let's see. We have here page of wands. Okay, and then page of cups, two pages. Interesting. So the page, um, okay, let's 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 pick some more before I <laughs> before I go on to explain. Okay, and then we have here high priestess. Let's pick me some. Okay. Aha. Mm. Uh -huh. Let's see. We have the lovers. Very interesting. Scorpio. Okay, we need one more. One more clarifier here. Let's put the deck. Chariot. Okay. Okay. Nice. Um, for the King of Cups, right, you have the Page of Wands. Page of Wands basically is about excitement, and being very curious. And so, <laughs> so you are, if you are in a relationship already, you are entering a very exciting time, right, in your relationship um, with your divine counterpart, right? Namely, the, the more masculine energy. Very exciting. You're, you know, maybe you're getting to know your spouse a little bit deeper. Um, if you're single, then it's a new relationship, as I've said. Um, if you're not interested in a relationship, then the, there's a very strong possibility that you're really, really excited about making a really strong connection with your own soul self, your higher self, um, very focused on your spiritual path and spiritual journey and feeling the excitement and curiosity towards that path. 
Okay. Now, again, we have confirmation that if you are uh, single and looking for a relationship, for the Queen of Cups, we, you know, the energies here, the page of cups is about possibilities, right? And um, if you are single and you've been waiting maybe for a mess, uh, for a message from someone, right? You probably will receive that message very soon. And uh, there is a possibility of something happening. Um, if you're in a relationship already, then things are really ramping up. Um, you become coming closer, you're having a more fruitful uh, connection with each other. If not, then it's your divine counterpart in, on the spiritual level. Okay, you're getting clarity for sure. And uh, for many of you, Scorpio, you're also, you know, feeling like you're embarking on a new spiritual journey, right? Energies of high priestess is about sacred knowledge. So maybe you are going deeper into your spiritual studies, spiritual development, and that gives you the clarity you're looking for i feel also that you you know you are allowing your spiritual side of you to be integrated into your relationships especially you know the relationships closest to you right you're allowing it to be part of your life and so that's quite a powerful uh powerful powerful energy okay so then we have the energies of five of pentacles five of pentacles usually as i said is about despair feeling um, maybe isolated, feeling lonely. And the answer to this is the lovers, right? So what does lovers mean? Lovers could be a real physical, like a real partner coming into your life. Uh, the other thing also is an integration. The loneliness that you're experiencing uh, can only be answered by your own connection with your relationship itself, right? Um, lovers could also mean that there are options out there. There are opportunities out there um, are you ready to go out to socialize, right? It could also mean coming into a clearer relationship with self. Um, the loneliness also for some of you, if you are in a marriage and you've been feeling very lonely in your marriage, it happens, right? This is much more common than people realize that you can feel very lonely even when you're with someone that you love. This is asking you to take a closer look at what you are avoiding and things that, you know, maybe there are certain aspects of the relationship that you guys are not addressing and perhaps it's time to address and be very honest or lovingly with each other and to sort things out okay so here we have nine of uh nine of cups is about being content being you know happy with where you are however we have the chariot energy chariot energy is asking you to move <laughs> it's time to come out of your comfort zone so you may have been far too comfortable you need to get out of a comfort zone so that both of you, you and your divine counterpart or you and your spouse, you and your potential uh, partner can have a more fruitful relationship. Time to move, Scorpio. Don't just sit there and hope things will work out. Things are not going to work out on their own if you're having problems, right? Things do not work out on your own if you do not do anything about it, okay? So get out of a comfort zone. Chariot is about go, go, go. Time to move. Time to go. Let's have some inspiring message here for Scorpio. We have let go of stress. We have simplicity. So really, really simplify your life with each other. Maybe maybe things just got too complicated. Maybe you guys are overthinking things. Um, and if you are single, then maybe you are just overcomplicating things by having too much going on, right? Uh, let go of all the excess. Let go of stress. You don't need it, Okay. Let's pick one from the fairy deck. Let's see what we have for Scorpio. We do have a nice reading here. I like that there's divine counterpart and divine counterpart. All right, king and queen of cups. Both are about relationships, emotions, intuition. Trust your intuition. If you are on the path, right, you want to gain clarity, you want to grow spiritually, it's time to uh, work on developing your intuition. Okay, that's a nice message there. And uh, one more. Oh, okay. Decide to give us three more. Leadership. So time to develop leadership skills. Um, time to heal. Time to provide healing as well. And um, these are huge angels, yeah? Archangels. Messenger, creativity, hope. 
very nice energy, supportive energies when, you know, coming in here for you to open your heart to receive. Okay. Let's pick some cards now. Now, Scorpio, if this resonates with you, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoy, or if you want more clarity about the path forward and choices you, you need to make, perhaps you'd like to um, book a private session. Okay, details are below this video. Now, let's... Wow. <laughs> I wanted to check out what the energies are like uh, for... What the energies are like for um, the outcome, the final, final outcome, right? And so here we have, interesting, we have seven of pentacles. Okay, seven of pentacles is about rest. And then we have two of pentacles, right? It's about responsibility and balance. I feel this has a lot to do with your relationship, right? In With your spouse, your partner, and your inner relationship. Okay, so time to balance responsibility. And then we have nine of wands. Didn't we have nine of wands early on? <clears throat> nine, of, no, we didn't. Okay, so nine of wands is about resilience, about boundaries, having clear boundaries. So one of the things you might want to consider, Scorpio, is that, um, you know, people always have this misconception that when you are in a relationship, um, you, you don't have, you don't need boundaries. But actually, you do need boundaries, right? You do need boundaries with each other. That, that makes it healthy, right? Healthy relationships always have boundaries. Where your boundaries begin and end, of course, that varies according to the type of relationship that you have. So you need to have very clear boundaries so that you know where is your beginning and where's the end, right? Especially in our connection with each other. We do not establish boundaries, then this is where we have problems <laughs> with each other. So, so this is a very good uh, reminder to you, right? To have uh, very clear boundaries, um, to be resilient as well. You know, whenever problems come up in your connection with each other, then, you know, have clear boundaries, be resilient. And you have eight of cups. Okay, eight of cups usually talks about walking away or letting go. So in this situation, I, I'm not saying that you should you should walk away from a relationship. What I'm saying is to let go of the additional baggage that you may have in your uh, connection with each other. Something that maybe one of you um, is not forgiving or you're not able to forgive, you find it very hard to forgive, then maybe some therapy work would be required because if you utilize your past baggage and you keep hopping on it, uh, with your partner, that is, you know, in a long term, right? Resentment is going to build. That's not very healthy in your relationship with each other. Now, if you're single, you're not in a relationship, there's a very high chance that you need to let go of certain baggage that you have that may be preventing you from moving forward, especially if there's a baggage from a past relationship. Okay, so let's see. Moving forward. <laughs> see? <laughs> Right? Get ready for positive change, Scorpio. It's time. Carrot says, go, go, go. Don't be stuck in a rut. In your inner relationship with self or relationship with your partner. Do we want all of these? Okay, let's, let's just take a look anyway. Face your fears. Release the power of fear. Resilience, rise above tribulations. This is resilience, right? This is letting go. Legends, learn from those who inspire you, okay? And then we have sensuality. Express your... <coughs> Express your sensuality. I almost choked there. <laughs> Express your sensuality, Scorpio. Scorpio, you're known for your sensuality, right? That's, that's part of your uh, attributes, in your sign. So are you suppressing it? Are you afraid of your own sensuality and sexuality? You must learn to express it. Open, open your heart, open your, your chakras, right? Allow the energies to flow. There's nothing wrong in expressing your sensuality and sexuality. Uh, that's how energy runs. That's how we release blockages. Um, that's to allow the energies, right, to flow. And then you will feel much happier for it, okay? So, Scorpio, I wish you a wonderful central time with your partner. Um, and if you don't have a partner, 
please, by all means, have a central relationship with yourself. It's also very healthy. Okay, so I will see you again very, very soon. Bye for now.